Station here at Kia. It's so such a pleasure to see you all here. I hope you have uh, a lot of fun this evening and tonight, and especially tomorrow morning when we will see all the results of your uh, eagerness. Um, I'm head of study here at Kia for uh, the uh, computer science education. Uh, and I have uh, been aided by Christopher and Jette to set up this competition. Uh, I'm sure they will help you and guide you uh, in every sense and direction. We will have supplies all the time, lots of Coca Cola and stuff like that. Um, Pizza, chips, Pizza, uh, chips, uh, sugar, sugar, and more sugar, <laughs> and some sugar. Uh, and coffee too. Coffee yeah. too, yes. About those girls? Yeah. Girls? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not so far away. We're just a phone call away. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Just a phone call away. No problem. Okay. We haven't mentioned the price yet, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you have fun. Uh, yeah, and Christopher is in charge of everything and the rules and so forth. We'll get the rules and printing and, and so Christopher will go through the rules before we start. Uh, and I hope you will have uh, a lot of fun and a pleasant time. Uh, and practicalities, you can always ask Christopher or Ed. Ask Christopher and Ed will send us, but in any case. I would suggest that... Always go for the monkey. <laughs> I would suggest that you for just present yourself uh, briefly and then you can take that. I'm Christopher, I'm one of the teachers at this school. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jörg uh, from uh, uh, Odense. so much noise so we have too many applications and so on so we will have three teams from our school and we will have one training team without any points <laughs> training Outside team. Competition. so I took the guys who made most uh, trouble I put them as uh, the, the training team <laughs> <laughs> just to pull your leg a little bit okay what is it all about uh, the thing is that you're going to uh, uh, program a Lego robot and this Lego robot has four inputs and three outputs. So three outputs are typically a motor doing something, moving the wheels or moving something else. Okay? And the three inputs is, you have diff different type of inputs. One is a radio. One is a light sensor. Yeah, maybe we should show them. Very good. Okay. So they're kind of something like this. Something like this, yeah? And then you have a wire into our main uh, unit. How big is the unit? Yeah, that's the unit. And then you build your own stuff with Lego, where, how many wheels you want, if you want a, a caterpillar wheel or whatever, and so on. Uh, so um, you will have two types of light sensors. One of the light sensors can only see black and white. Uh, the other types can see colors. All uh, activities you're supposed to do is only black and white. There so no, the there no black and white in this uh, box. Yeah. So I hope you some uh, one. Yeah. And the black and white. The, uh, <coughs> the color ones can be set to react only on black and white. Okay. And what I'm saying is, don't bother recognizing colors. It won't get you anything. <laughs> All the activities are, are, are uh, based on, uh, on recognizing black or white. Okay. Um, Another input sensor is a feeling sensor. So it's a, something like this. When, when you run into something, for example, yes, you can feel it. Right? And then there is a radar. Yeah. 
I think so you can see both direction and distance. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Then uh, programming the, um, um, the robot is uh, you download something to uh, you, you download a programming interface to your, uh, to your laptop, and you can use two different interfaces. One is the Lego internal one for uh, specific commands, and there is also possible to uh, install a Java interface on it so you can program in Java. Actually, uh, three. There's also the possibility to you can see. Yeah, you can also use C if you like. Right. What tasks are you supposed to do? Uh, uh, questions so far? Okay. Uh, the task you're supposed to do is we will make a track, which is a white line. This is uh, electrical tape, so it gives a good uh, light bounce. So you, s you should be able to follow a track. If you find a crossing, you just go straight over the crossing. There is no choice right and left. You just follow the line. Sometimes maybe you cross another line, okay? Somewhere along the line, you will get a wall. You will run into a wall. And the wall is a piece of this. Okay? This is a wall. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's lying like this, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. And there will be different lengths of the walls. Half meters, one meters, and so on, yes? You will run into a wall, the line will go straight into a wall. If you do that, you should be able to negotiate around it somewhere and find the continuation of the line. And then you continue along the line. At some time of point, the line will stop. There is no line anymore. In that case, you will see two walls beside you. And you are actually into, in, inside a maze. So you should, find, you should navigate around the maze. The maze will be a half meter wide, 50 centimeters. Give or take two centimeters. Something around that, yeah? A half meter wide. And then you should navigate around in the maze. Sometimes you may go into a dead end, if you're unlucky. But somewhere in the maze, it will be an exit. When you get out of the exit, actually you're in a free room, and you have no walls and no lines, but somewhere in front of you, there will be a white square. A white square? Yeah, a white square. So you should be able to find the square. Inside this square, it will be an obstacle. How far is that square away from me where the maze ends? Yeah, around a meter or a one and a half. Just outside. Yeah. Should we say? Max one meter away. Max one meter away. Okay. Yeah. You find a white square. In this square, there's an obstacle. You're supp you're actually, you're supposed to park inside that square. You can't do that because there is an object in there. So when you find the square, you should push the objects a meter away. A so, meter. yeah, if you push it 90 centimeters, it's almost good, but not as good as one meter. So you get you will score you will get points uh, on the distance. If you push a little bit too far, you get a deduction. A little bit too less, you get a deduction. Okay. So uh, you, in, uh, but if it's straight or if it's a little bit to the side, doesn't matter. Just around around a meter from from the square. When you have pushed the object and you're satisfied with that, you go back and park inside the square. And then you have completed the track. Yeah. Uh, the object would be something like, like a can or something. Oh, okay. Do we get all these details? Yeah, on the Something like this. Can we get all these details? No, you don't, you don't get the details of the track, but you get the details of... No, what you just no. said. What you just said. No. Well, okay. I, can, I can provide a paper for you, but... Yeah. All right. Can we get any measurements? In one hour. Uh, 30 minutes. Uh, an example of object to test. Can yes. Okay. Yes. You will get. That was a question. Yeah. Uh, we said there <coughs> there will be a wall blocking off the track. Will there be a track going along the no. wall? It no. will just stop. And the track the will stop in the wall. And the point is to get around it and continue down yes. the other side. Yes. Yeah. And find yes. the track again. Okay, yeah, so we so don't know the length. It won't be like it stops there, but it continues like yeah. on the Yeah, like for example, you see the wall here, yeah? yeah? If you have a line going into the wall, so if you follow the, uh, the line, you, you hit the wall. Yeah. If you hit the wall, it's up to you to find a way around, and you, yeah, you go around it until you find another line. Then you follow yeah. that. But will it be in the same direction as the, uh, yeah. the original it, one? Yeah, it will be it will yeah. continuing like this. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it won't start in a different place. Okay. okay. Yeah? All right? Each team will get an own private room. We will start with small rooms. 
without windows if you want to be secret. If you want more space, you can ask, we will get you a bigger room, but most of the bigger rooms have windows. Okay, so we could have spies, right? Okay, each team will also have one of their own tapes with them, so you can make the, tr the tracks yourself. Okay, we also have to agree that you will, on the track we will no, not have any sharp corners. We will have only bent corners. Okay? So you can make your own testing track. What about the maze, the labyrinth? Huh? You will not get your own labyrinth, but we will make a test labyrinth outside here. So you, whenever you're ready, you can go out here and you can test it. On the final track, the labyrinth will look different. Are there lines in the labyrinth? No. no. no lines. Okay. The, the, uh, the track, the line, you follow it until it ends. When it ends, you are inside the fir this first part of the labyrinth. Oh, so you're inside the labyrinth when it ends. Yeah. So, so the line ends. When it ends, you have walls. So you just implement the back track here. Okay. Oh, 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 is that hints? Yeah. Oh, we should have known the backtracking algorithm. <laughs> right, okay. Well, um, there are a couple of rules here. I think you already got them on email. If not, you will get them on paper here. And the rules are basically we're starting, we started 10 minutes ago. All right. Uh, understanding the, the, the subject and all the stuff. And then you can stop working. And at 9 o'clock, we will have a track in one of those rooms. And each team tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. So you have been doing all your development and testing during the night and all the stuff. And at 9 o'clock you will have a run at the final uh, uh, track. Okay, you will have one try, every, every team will have one try. When everybody has one try, then every team will have one try more. So you have two tries at 9 o'clock. When that is over, you can go on and uh, correct all the errors, if you have any. Right? And then 11 o'clock is the last try, one try only. Yes. And then we will find a winner that takes away this one. So and the teams, so this would be the school's prize. No? And every member of the team will get something additional. It will get a, a what? Um, <laughs> you caught me there. Uh, An iPad? Uh, no, A notebook? No. A Ferrari? No. no. <laughs> they will, each member of the team that wins will get a gift card of 500 kronos for phone. Second place. Yeah. second place, I haven't figured out yet. <laughs> second place, but it price 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 much price. less. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. The scoring. You will have three tries, and whatever points you score, we will not add them. You will just count the best try. So, if you got five points in one try, seven points in the next one, and two points in the last one, is the one is the maximum one. If you are from here, you choose, choose the last one. <laughs> <laughs> you choose the run with the maximum points. Okay. Right. Uh, you will score in four categories. The first category is can you complete the whole track? Okay. That will, that will give you ten points. And then if you only complete half of the track, then it's five points. Then you complete seventy percent of the track, then seven points. Okay. Right. Sometimes. If your robot uh, uh, loses his memory or something like that, and instead of giving up, you can you can help him a little bit. So one human intervention will deduce three points. So if you do more than three human interventions, you don't need to continue. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, that's one category. The second category is: Could you solve the assignments along the track? And one of the assignments was uh, the wall. The other assignment was to actually uh, negotiate the maze without getting stuck in a dead, dead end. Yes. Will it be possible to circumvent the wall in both directions? Yes. Yes, yes. It will be a freestanding wall. Yeah. Can it's your problem which direction you go. Um, will it, will it uh, line be in the middle of the wall? Or yeah. can that, you be don't know. that you don't know. Okay. That you don't know. And the size of the wall? Uh, something like that. It's actually a good idea. It will not be Jump five over. meters long. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then it would be to move the object. Yeah. When and you come out, you move the object away. That's one assignment. And uh, another assignment is actually to go and park inside the rectangle. There's four assignments. Yeah. Right. 
Well, no, if we get bored, we will maybe invent another assignment. <laughs> you never know. You can get a surprise. Let, let yeah. tell us about it. Can you <laughs> give us an example of the object that we're going to move? Is it yeah, it's move? like it's like it's, it's like going to be a bow or something. or something. Something like that. Are we going to get? The Not very heavy. Phase? Yeah, we'll, we'll, okay. I will go and buy a couple of objects. You'll get one each. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, and um, can we build the robot to go over the wall instead of a wall? You can do whatever you like, as long as you negotiate past yeah, the... Okay, and, and the same with the level? And just go uh, straight through it or something like that? Yes, but then your problem would be actually to actually find the exit so you know where the square is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> in any case, in any case, there... Just yes. something about the maze. If you get to a dead end, what you can actually back up and find the right end where you get. The robot can do whatever he likes. Okay. But so if he parks, if he if he parks on a dead end, then <coughs> you're losing part of the track. Okay, no, okay. So you're not losing points for that. No, 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 no. Okay. It's okay to go into a dead end as long as you get out again at some okay. point and continue. How will the robot know that when it's reached the center of the maze to go? No, oh, oh, you, you, you shouldn't reach the center. You should, you should have an exit. Sometimes oh, the wall ends. Okay. Uh, right. When the wall ends, then you have uh, negotiated the maze, and then now the next assignment is to find the square. But the line starts after the maze ends? There is no lines after the maze ends. There is just the one white square. The square would be in a meter, max a meter away from the end. Okay. So you have to continue. Wait, is it just in front, or is it like... Maybe, maybe. So they haven't built it yet. Maybe. maybe. Depends how drunk we are. <laughs> <laughs> remember, it's remember, no alcohol involved. Oh, you can't drink, we can't. Remember one no, thing, no, no, right. this, this is very realistic. When you're going to build IT systems, you don't know what the result should be when you start it. <laughs> so this is really, really a very realistic test, actually. We have a question now. Uh, the corners in the maze. Uh, will they be uh, 90 degrees corners? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The corners in the maze will be 90 degrees. Only 90 degrees. Yeah. Only 90 degrees. Okay. Is this going to be for time? Like yes. Another. Uh, <laughs> so one category is completing the track. The next category with 10 points is completing the different uh, uh, assignments. Okay. Negotiating the problems. The third category with 10 points, you'll get this paper. You'll get this paper. A third category will be on time. If you can complete the whole track, then we took the time. So if we are two teams that actually can complete the track, God forbid, then we will have a time difference. Okay? Um, and then there is an extra category. It is creative design, extra features, extra functionality. Whatever unnecessary things your robot is doing, you're getting points for that. Yeah? It's like kind of an X factor. If you sing and dance, then you get points. Uh, especially cha-cha-cha. <laughs> That's very giving. <laughs> so you get technical points to completing the track. You get technical points for uh, negotiating all the assignments. You get technical points for speed. And then you get artistic points for speed. unnecessary features. <laughs> okay? And the fourth category is kind of... Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> yeah. It's us it's, it's it's three... Or as for actually as for the teachers, they are giving points. If it's beautiful, then it's extra. Yeah. <laughs> Can we? Will, there, will you be taking pictures when the race begins? Since the flash might bounce off the floor. I will take pictures board. without the flash. Okay. I have. Did, I did think about that. So we yeah. solved that problem before. Yeah. So you will. You will not have any flashes disturbing your light sensors. Thank you. And yeah. you will not shout if uh, your robot is uh, sensitive to sounds. Yes. Yeah. Look. I remember last time something happened, so there was a, a fire. Right. Any other questions? Small holes. You will get a steady supply of soda water, sugar water, and, so and soda water, and bubble water, and sugar water <laughs> during this time. And at some time of point, there will come some pizzas from the Domino. That's at 1800, isn't it? That's okay. Yes, 1800. Okay. At 6 o'clock, there will come some pizza. Yes. And there will be the big dominum pizzas. And uh, uh, whatever is left over, is not left over, is our night food. And I will find some uh, microwaves, which you can use, yeah?
and uh, we will have a coffee machine standing. If you don't like uh, sugar water, then you have coffee. With sugar. With sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be some candy and uh, chocolate and chips, chips and God knows what. Every unhealthy <laughs> stuff that nerds <laughs> needs. <laughs> <laughs> Red Bull is just for the sporty, healthy guys. <laughs> Do we all need the same Legos, or do we have like a pile we can choose from? You will get one set of standard Lego which you can buy in, in any shop. We have bought it for you. It's uh, one of the NXT two sets. Uh, it costs two and a half thousand in Toys R Us. So you'll get one complete set of that. And that will have one radio sensor, one light sensor, two feeling sensors, and if you're really interested, you can get a microphone too. I don't know what you will use it for. It's the microphone is in other sets, so we have that. <laughs> if you have something that breaks, you can come to us. We may have spare parts. Can we get extra parts if we? You could get extra parts if you do a nice motivation singing and dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And it might be a small time missing. Yeah. If something is missing, you get it without discussion. If something is broken, is you also get it without is discussion. Is this intact? Uh, let's just decide on the No one can have two robots at the same time. You will not have two uh, robots at the same time, no. Not two CPUs. No. No one can have that. No. So if, if you're saying that something is broken, you need to exchange it, we exchange it. But there is only four inputs. But, but can they have extra bricks? Yeah, I mean only the bricks, not the sensor. That's what we say. If you really need oh, extra no, bricks, no, no, no. yeah, well, we don't like it. It's a little bit messy to uh, to to fix it later on. If, if if everyone can have extra bricks, then it's not really fair. Yeah. Since if you if you have two, you can troubleshoot a lot faster. Yeah. 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 You, you can have you, two CPUs. You yeah. Yeah. No, no, the yeah, CPUs and sensors. Yeah. 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 Nothing. Yeah. Then the, the CPU, you only have one. We're talking about the latest. Yeah. 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 But okay, if you need an extra wheel or something, maybe we can work something yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can drive. End of the table. All right. Are we okay? Yeah. yeah. So uh, you can get your boxes and you can get your type. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, just can we a piece of good advice since this is very real to the real world where we build systems? And of course, there's a lot of focus on construction and programming. But you might consider using other of the skills we are trying to teach you in education. Like, how do we organize this little project? Who does what way? And so forth and so forth. Just a piece of advice. Yeah, yeah. I think it <laughs> might be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ITO. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have seen teams of four persons when one of the guys was saying, you too slow, go and drink coffee, I do everything. I don't think nobody there were very happy. No, there weren't. You said something about being disqualified if you were late, right? I'm Swedish. Don't believe everything I say. <laughs> so we should Good one. Room, so. Yes, uh, right. Right now, you just find a room that you like. If you want a bigger one, we'll find you a bigger one. Not this one. Oh.